Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. This really sunny and warm now, March morning, afternoon. Um, so Proverbs chapter 7 and 21. With her many persuasions, she entices him. With her flattering lips, she seduces him. So her intention is to get him into her, her snare. And sin is always after you. No matter what you do, whether it's with your eyes or with your emotions or with your thoughts or with your actions, sin is always looking to take hold of you. God said to Abel and Cain and their dispute, he said to Cain, that sin is crouching at the door, waking, waiting to take charge of you. And you have to master it. And unless we master sin, it will master us. And the enemy works through many enticements. So with her many persuasions, what are her persuasions? Well, the seduction of her smell, the, the alluring of her beauty, the, uh, the delights uh, of her features, those things that lure us in. You know, if the devil turned up to you with horns and a forked tongue and or a strange towel, you'd run a mile. But he comes as an angel of light, Peter says, looking, seeking to devour you, like a, a roaring lion, seeking, seeking to overpower you. That's what sin does. It's looking to take hold of you. Just think about today. And the times today when you've had the opportunity to walk away from sin, but you chose not to. Why did you choose not to? You did so because you was enticed by the persuasion of sin. It got you, it captured you, and it took you to a negative place. But if you can come to your senses long before you cross the inappropriate line, you will master sin. Unless you do that, you will look back at the sin you commit and you will find yourself having to say to God, forgive me for the wrongs I have done. Better that we say, thank you, Lord, that you protected me from the inappropriate rather than looking back and saying, forgive me for what I have done. But the great thing about God is he is willing to forgive us even if we have to look back at the wrongs we've done. He loves us so much. Jesus' provision for us has made it possible that we can look back at our sin and recover. But all oh, better that we walk away and say no to it. With her flattering lips, she seduces. You know, the caressing of drawing you to her kiss. Jesus was betrayed by the kiss of what appeared to be a friend, but was an enemy. And there are many enemies who have masqueraded themselves as friends in your life. Stay away from them. Renounce them. Reject them. Let them go from your life. And go and live a life that's God-drawn and God-motivated. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great afternoon. And uh, I won't see you tomorrow. We're on uh, away for the weekend. It's our anniversary. 45 years. Wow. Praise the Lord. God bless you.